G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here, and welcome to video three of my How to Hang a Door series. Now in today's video, we'll be looking at cutting the door jams to length, and then installing the door hinges onto that door jam. So without further ado, let's start cutting those jams. Cut up the jam, cut the jam. So how long do we cut our door jam? Well our door jam, in this case, is going to be sitting hard down on a timber floor. Now we want a five mil gap from the floor to the underside of our door. There's our door. Now it's a five mil gap. There. Now our door itself, that's 23 40 tall. Now the gap between the top of our door and the underside of our door jam head is a clearance of three millimeters or one eighth of an inch. So if we add the five, the two, three, forty and the three together, we come up with two, three, forty eight millimeters. And that is how long our door jam hinge needs to be cut. Let's do it. So with the jam cut, it's now time to attach it to the door hinge itself. Now this is the top of our door and this is our top door hinge. And this is where my method is a bit different to most other people. Most people either use a tape measure or they use a, um, a wooden staff with measurements on it. But what I like to do is remove this leaf from the hinge. So fold it over, give it a little tap, get some pointy nose pliers and remove the pin. Just like that. Oh, take that off and we want to put this on the top of our door jam hinge and just remember that the top of that hinge is 185 millimeters from the top of the door and the top of our door jam is three mil further on from the top of that door so the start of our hinge on our door jam is going to be 185 millimeters plus three millimeters. So a total of 188 millimeters. So from the top of our door jam, we measured down 188 millimeters. Which is, take my glasses off, just there. So that is the top of our hinge. So get that leaf that you've taken off the door place it onto the jam and line down that edge there up with the edge of our door jam. Just like that. That's it. And now with a sharp pencil, mark around it. Just like that. And now as before, get your square and your Stanley knife and just make some cuts on those lines. Like that. And then on this one over here. And like before, I'm going to use my router to cut that hinge out. And like before, just using a combination of chisel, like that, and a Stanley knife, just clean up that rebate. Well, 
Oh, get the last little bit out like that. Now get our leaf, and that fits just beautifully. Now we want to insert these screws just like before. Again, using your thumb as a guide, try and get it in the center. Now put some screws in, and one more. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Now we take this over to the door. Now what I do next is I close up these hinges on the bottom two, and then get the jam, and place it on top of the door, and onto that top hinge. And with it in place, I'm going to put in, or partially put in, the hinge pin. Just like that. And now with that top hinge holding the jam in place, we can fold it out and get those leaves from the other two hinges, place them on top of the jam, hold the jam in place, and mark where those hinges are. That's one. This next one. Just like that. It is that simple. Now we fold these back over and take out that top hinge pin. Now just gently take the pin out and release the jam. And with your router, check out those last two hinge rebates and then clean up the edges with your chisel and Stanley knife. Now go ahead and tap out these pins for the middle hinge and the bottom hinge. Now make sure that these go on the same spot on the door jam as they are on the door. So this is our middle hinge, and this one here is our bottom hinge. The reason for that is that sometimes the hinges aren't machined exactly the same, and they won't match up. So take them out, and this is the leaf for our bottom hinge. Now go over to our jam and screw in these hinge leaves. Alrighty, all done. Now we're ready to cut the length for the other door jam. And don't forget to put the hinge pins back in, otherwise you just might forget or you might lose them. There you go, done. Now the reason why I like to use this method for marking my door jams, especially with a door that has three hinges, is that it's virtually impossible to make a mistake. Once that jam is locked into that top hinge, it can't move. So by folding the jam out and then transferring the lines from these hinges onto that jam, you can't go wrong. There's no misreading a tape or putting a tape in the wrong spot. I like it. So with that step done, you know the drill. Go to the shed, put on those hinges, and then come back for the next video, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below, where we will assemble that door jam. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated, and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, go to the shed, good luck. Until next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.